Hey Glendale Tigers, it's Mrs. Molesky here. I'm in my backyard. You can probably hear the birds chirping. They want me to get out of the backyard because they want to come to feed her. Oh, there's a chickadee. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about some things that you can do outside because while we're stuck at home, we can still be outside in nature. And as you all know, I teach science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So we're going to focus on a little bit of uh, nature observation and science today. So that chickadee is back over there. I'm going to show you some things that I have um, with me that I'm going to take with me on my little walk today and you might want to use these things too. So here's what I have. I have a notebook. I have my, a cardboard tube. I'm going to use that to help me focus my attention. I have a pen where you could take a pencil too. And I have a Ziploc bag. Okay, so we are at a park with a wetland near our house. Um, and what Wyatt's doing is he's using his ears to listen for birds. Then he uses a cardboard tube to look where his ears tell him that the sound came from. We just heard a woodpecker a little while ago up in that tree. Oh, why it's seeing it. So using the cardboard tube helps him focus his attention the way that his ears are telling him. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay, in, the, in the V. In the V. I don't know if we'll be able to see it on the video. Yeah. So we're gonna... Oh, he saw a rabbit over here. Let's see if we can see the rabbit. Here, a bird called a killdeer over here. So if you live somewhere where there are a lot of trees or where there's a wetland where there's a pond or a marsh or a stream this is a great time of year to go out and find birds and listen to birds. It's also kind of windy today, but hopefully you can hear the frogs. Here's a bunch of deer tracks. Here's something else that you can do while you're outside. So we like to play alphabet games sometimes just because it gets your brain moving. So something that starts with an A that we can see out here in nature. I'm going to um, do it bilingual because we're bilingual and I'm going to say árboles and a B. We've got, oh a bug, a bug just buzzed by Wyatt. Um, I hear a chickadee, that's a C. Any D's? Do you see any D's, Wyatt? How about dirt? Dirt? Oh, yep, we've got dirt. E? Um. Well, you get the idea. <laughs> We'd have to be moving to keep going with this. Let's, let's give E. Oh, okay. Uh, we hear the frogs. Yeah. There's our F. Frogs. So you can keep playing with things that you see near your house. Um, there's grass for G. Oh, G for grass. Yeah. Okay, we're back. We're sitting in our backyard. Um, there's no birds on the bird feeder right now, but I'll let you know if there are any. Um, we have some things in our nature bag. So, Wyatt, you want to pull the things out that we have in our nature bag? What's that? Cattail. Yes, this is a cattail. From last year. So it, there's things blowing mm -hmm. off it. Those are the seeds. Okay. It's like a giant dandelion. 
that's a that's a flower from last year. Mm -hmm. So it's got the cattail stuff stuck on it now. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else have we got in there? We got some oh, the flower. dried flowers. You might need to put them back in the bag. Oh, oh. oh, yep, it's getting a little windy. We've got oh. Oh. an interesting leaf mm -hmm. that Wyatt found. We've got the grass oh. from the front yard. And a pine cone. And a pine cone. So now Wyatt's going to pick something from our nature bag that he's going to sketch about. And I'm going to pick something from our nature bag that I'm going to write about. 